Hi, Leslie. Welcome to your healing home. Come on in. Welcome. Oh, this is your living room area. <laughs> Look okay. at it. Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital Somerset's Healing Homes is a social impact and community investment initiative in which families in need who cannot afford housing due to a chronic condition will occupy one of our hospital owned homes for 18 to 24 months. Our goal is to really look into the community we serve and are we meeting the needs of that community. Our Healing Homes project is really a small step in a direction where if someone had a, an acute or chronic catastrophic illness that enables them to really fulfill their societal norms, this is a helping hand for them. And this family is a very sweet and loving family. So awesome. We have a single mom with two teenage boys. This struggle with my health has been a rough road, you know, from emergency surgeries to being bedridden. This entire time I've had to choose between finances and my health. We have a social worker that's really gonna look at all their needs. Do they have medical needs, financial needs, psychological needs, social needs, and really help the family to create a, a healthy life. RWJ Barnabas Health is committed to housing. We know that when people live in safe and affordable housing, they have improved health outcomes, both mental and physical, as well as improved educational outcomes. A home is everything, a stable home. And I don't mean necessarily a house. I just mean a peaceful home. It's beautiful. There were three organizations who really helped develop the core of this program. Somerset County Community Development, Central Jersey Housing Resource Center, and Habitat for Humanity. We were honored as uh, Raritan Valley Habitat for Humanity to be involved, to be asked to be part of this task force. We have learned in recent years how critical a home is, and particularly a stable, safe, and healthy home is to, to people's long-term health. By collaborating together and working together and, and utilizing each organization's expertise, we were able to address an old issue in a very new and innovative way. We ask questions like, how long have you been homeless? Have you had a bankruptcy? Have you ever been evicted? Do you have a chronic health condition? Do you have a mental health condition? How many people are in your household? What is your income? It, different measures and ultimately different ways of, of creating sort of a composite picture of what someone's challenges are so that we can identify people who have the most challenges. Our work has just begun because while the renovations to this house are wonderful and very exciting. Until I know that Leslie's family is able to lead healthy, self-sufficient lives and they're going on to do better things, then I can relax. Because that's what this initiative is all about. We've been in the house about three weeks now and it's peaceful. Like that's like that's the number one thing that I love about this house. It's like our little fortress of solitude. We have peace. It's lifted a load off of me, like, I don't know what, I feel like I can breathe easier, I can focus. I'm starting to get things in order now. I went to see a financial planner, and we went through my entire bank statement, every single thing, and so I'm already making some changes. With Leslie, she comes on a weekly basis, and we started getting her on track of first figuring out how much was coming in and tracking it and then also what was going out. This is just one stop that they're gonna make on a, a great, long, and healthy life. To know how many people took time out of their life to help us and to put all of this together, they truly are an army of angels, in my opinion. So I'm just thankful, and I'm more determined than ever because I know there's an army of people cheering me on. RWJ Barnabas Health, let's be healthy together.